I am Francesco Mazzei and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. Seafood is definitely one of my favorite things I like to cook with. I got so many suppliers, I mean Colchester for the scallops and the crab, Scotland for the blue lobster, everything is local because it's fresher and slightly cheaper. The problem I have sometimes is that I cannot change the menu very often because customers they come for the particular dish. My seafood fregola, I mean I cannot touch it. I get very, very abused from customers sometimes because I, I change that dish. I think London is a good city for the food overall. There is no other city in the world where you find the best Italian, the best French, the best Japanese, the best Chinese. That's why it's exciting to be chef in London really. You get inspired every single day. Hi, I'm uh, Francesco Mazzei. I'm the chef patron of this beautiful restaurant, the Fiume, in Battersea Power Station. Today I'm cooking for you the cod with seafood guazzetto and potato. What I like in this dish is the simplicity and I'm using, as much as you can see, a part of this, a lot of British produce. So I'm doing Italian cooking with the British ingredients. Amazing. So first thing we do, we've got some sliced potatoes here. Next time with olive oil, sprinkle time. I mean, you don't need to be so precise, just, you, just roast your potato the way you like. Che bello. Okay, this basically has the potato, which we use for, to crust the cod. And this one is gonna go in the oven now. Okay, so now I'm gonna open clams and mussels. Bit of oil. The coastal part of Italy is full of fantastic seafood places. If you go to Bari, Puglia, on the coastal area. I mean, the seafood you see, the crudo di pesce, is the best in the world. Definitely one of the best in the world. And people don't know about that. They don't know about crudo di pesce, they don't know about guazzetto yet. Yeah? So, it's a lot to rediscover still. Well, I'm gonna make sure I'm open the clams and the mussels here, because I need the fruit and I need the water as well. So, guazzetto is basically a light stew, okay? It's basically made out of the stock of the bones of the, of the beautiful uh, king prawns here and from the water of the clams and mussel. Right, so, this is now open it. This is very important, we don't cook the clams and the mussels too much because if you know they're gonna get chewy. But just when they open, then, uh, then it's absolutely fine. A little bit of garlic, olive oil. Then I'm gonna use the green part of the onion. Now, look, I'm using the heads of the shrimps to make a sauce. You always need to do that. You never chuck the head of the shrimps away. That would be the biggest mistake, okay? You pay for that as well, anyway, don't forget. And that's where the flavor is, absolutely. So always use this for stock, for sauce, and for anything you can, but don't chuck on the bin. Okay. I'm gonna add star anise. Wow, the smell of it is absolutely great. The parsley now, and chili. Look at that. If that's what the flavor is. Look at this. All right, white wine. With the lemon juice. But this wine, it needs to evaporate completely now. Because we love a bit of acidity, but not too much. That's why the lemon juice as well. I cook with Italian wine if I can. Uh, in this particular dish, there's a lot of sweetness going on with the clams, mussels, and the shrimps itself. So something dry, very dry. Look, the wine is about to reduce completely now. Ding. Tomato paste, just a bit. A few saffron threads here and there. Okay, look now, um, I'm gonna clean these clumsy mussels here while this one cooks. Of course, look at this, this water that we got here. It's very, very important for us because that's what the flavor is. The lovely flavor from the head of the shrimps and uh, the juice of the clams and the mussels. So it's a, you know, pure, you don't need a fish stock here. This is, this is the way you should do it. So basically, we didn't lose anything. It's a lovely acidity, a lovely flavor of fish. What I'm gonna do now, pass this to receive or machine one. Make sure all the jus from the head of the shrimp is going through. And look at this. This is the jus, absolutely stunning. Look, the guazzetto for you, which is basically some spring onions. Bit of garlic. Beautiful Italian basil. Uh, there's got the jus of the clams, mussels, and the head of the shrimps. 
the cherry tomatoes and the beautiful basil. Now, we're gonna leave it here. Bellissimo, bellissimo, bellissimo. And that's what we call what's set, yeah? A light seafood broth. Just gonna pan fry my beautiful cod from the skin side. The this pan fried fish is, first of all, you do a little osmosis to the fish with a bit of rock salt around for a few minutes. And then make sure the fish is nice and dry, okay? And a very hot pan. And that, you cannot make a mistake. Look at this beauty here. I'm particularly in love with this basil because this basil is grown in UK for me. It's an Italian basil just for me, which is amazing. All right, look, our beautiful guazzetto, oh my God, it's ready. And now, we're gonna go in the oven. A little bit of uh, dressing to put on top of our potato for the fish. Yellow tomato, they're not very popular in UK, but they are in south of Italy. We use quite a lot, actually. And uh, for the color, just Beautiful. Lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, pepper. Okay, now we're gonna finish up a dish and look straight out of the oven. Beautiful. Nice and rustic and crispy. Oh, that's what we like. So I'm gonna plate this for you now. The way I like with my food is uh, rustic and real. Uh, basically, no bullshit. And now, look, the crusty potato. Oh my god. You know what? The best thing for me is when I do a dish, I want to eat it. And that's, you know, that's the best thing. Mm. That's Italy. And this is seafood guazzetto with roast coat and potato. Such an amazing dish.